Hallelujah. Amen. We want to welcome every single one of you today. Uh, may the Lord bless you for being here. Uh, we want to get the program started in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, you can have your seat at the moment. We're going to sing a few songs, and then we'll get this program started. Amen. Great things he has done, greater things he will do unto the Lord be the glory. Great
Father, we thank you that this is the day that you have made. Father, our declaration today is we will rejoice and be glad in this day. Father, we have come to witness your glory. We have come to witness your goodness. We have come to witness your kindness and your grace over your people. We are gathered as a family. We are gathered as a church, Lord God, to witness the union of our brother Jermaine and our sister Linda. You had prepared this day beforehand, oh God. And we know, Lord God, that has come to pass because of you. We pray in the name of Jesus that everything will go according to your plan and purpose. That your Holy Spirit will have his way, oh God. That we'll be joined in one heart, one mind, oh God. Be in tune in this day. And we pray that as you usher our sister and our brother into this season of marriage, we pray that you will bless them in the name of Jesus. Every family member gathered here, every friend gathered here, Lord God, may the blessing of God be their portion. Because you have sanctified this day and you have blessed this day. Jehovah, have your way. Take control. Rule and have dominion over this celebration. In the matchless name of Jesus, have we prayed. And can I hear the saints of God shout a big amen? Amen. Come on, church, amen. Amen, amen. Again, we want to welcome every single one of you for being here today, all friends and families, those that have come near and far. Uh, we want to thank you for coming to the wedding ceremony of our brother Jermaine and our sister Linda. Um, and we are gathered as a church family, PIWC Worcester, uh, New England region, Worcester district. We are gathered here and we pray that we all be in tune. Amen. As we wait for the groom and the, fa um, and the bride to come, we just want to usher ourselves into a time of praises as we welcome our elder Sam AUC and the praise team to lead us in a few minutes of praises. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Let me see a wave offering unto Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to praise the name of our Lord as we come into his presence. Amen. We bring sacrifice of praise to the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise to the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice, we bring sacrifice of praise to the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice, we bring sacrifice of praise to the house of the Lord. And we offer, and we offer unto you the sacrifices of praise.
Amen. Amen. Please get excited in this place. Hallelujah. Amen. If you see Brother Jermaine dancing, then you know today is a special day. And we are so excited for our brother. Amen. And our sister. At this time, we want to do the bridal processional. Uh, if you can just have your seat, and uh, we'll continue from there. So we want to welcome the parents of the groom, Mrs. Dickness Deborah Boa and Uncle Edwin Owusu. Amen. We also want to welcome the other family members. Dickness Dr. Comfort Wampon and Elder Peter Wampon. Bless you, God bless you. The maid of honor. And help us to be wise. Maid of honor, Sister Jennifer in T. In times when we don't know. The blood sister of the bride. Help us be our prayer. When we lose our way. Church, can we honor the presence of the bride? If we can all be on our feet. Give the media team a few minutes as they find a time for the bride. No worries. Today is her day. We will be as patient as possible. No rush. Share with, to care with, to hold hands and say, this is the day that the Lord hath made, and I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice with you. This
is faster than praying, so this is strong. <laughs> yes. Ladies and gentlemen, mothers and fathers, family, let us welcome the bride and her father. Mr. MC. Mr. Kwame MC walking down our sister, Linda Lintel. Dr. Adelaide Usherid Watson, as they, she leads us in a time of worship. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to give God some worship in this room. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yehovah. Yehovah.
you today. your voice and worship the King of Kings. Lift your voice, lift your voice, lift your voice. Father, you are worthy, oh God. You are worthy, oh God. We give you worship. We give you praise. Father, we worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We give you praise, we give you worship, we thank you, Lord. Great is your name, O oh God. You are glorious in holiness, O oh God. Lend all of us the end We worship you, Lord. We give you praise, O oh God. We give you worship, O oh God. What a mighty God we serve. Your grace has taken us through, oh Lord, your grace has done it again. Gracious one, we bow down to you, oh gracious one. I will worship. 
worship you forever love you forever because this God this God is too good oh I will worship you I know a God who's merciful and kind, faithful and gracious. I'm the apple of his eye, the thoughts that fills his mind every morning, noon, and night. He loved me when I didn't care and was patient. Till I come in running up to him. Look how he turned my life around. Made me a shining star. His glory to reveal. Sing along with me. I will worship you forever. Love you. Of the Lord. Open your mouth and bless the name of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This God is too good, oh. Papa, you are too good, oh. Hey, this God, this God, this God, this God is too good, oh. Papa, you are too good, oh. Let the Lama see and the Father, we worship you, Lord. Receive the glory, Lord. Receive the honor, O Lord. Oh, glory to you, O God. We give you worship, O Lord. We give you thanks. Shall we please have our seats? Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. Landa la bo, candele bosa. Shanda la masi, yanda la bo, ke bo, yanda la bo. Father, you were too good. You were too good. Me soon, me ni huay. Na mi ya mi ya tie ni ye fiye. Na wo erati nya kopo. Nya wuti ya be truni. Today I know I see ya, and yo, Amama Ninara, Oma Yeni, Oya Mia Ye, Oni Yenati, Oh Jesus, and I miss so many why, Na Mi Ya Mi Atiye Atiye Ni Ye Fiye, Oh Na Wera Ti Ya. Yes, I 
Oh, Father, this afternoon, we just want to give you praise. Your praises will never depart from our lips. Words fill us. Words fill us. When we want to describe how much we love you. Father, this afternoon, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, oh God. Father, Jermaine and Linda said your praises will never leave your lips because this God is too good. You're too good. Take your place, oh God. Be enthroned, oh God. From now till the very end of the ceremony, may your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. 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 God bless you, Dr. Petri. And uh, at this time, we want to call PIWC Worship Choir to give us a song ministration. Our sister Linda is a member of PIWC Choir. And our MD, our former MD, Uncle Jermaine, will also the MD of PRWC Choir, and they want to honor the presence of these wonderful people. PRWC Choir. Hallelujah. Even as we're here to celebrate the union of our brothers and our sisters in Christ, let us remember that God's love is the greatest love of God. Amen.
can give a mighty hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Indeed, this is the day the Lord has made, and it is my prayer that you would rejoice and be glad in it. We want to thank God for such a great occasion and for the life of Brother Jermaine and Sister Linda. Indeed, God is faithful. Amen. We want to welcome all of you, those that travel far and near, to grace and also to celebrate with our brother and our sister. But I just want to take a few minutes here to introduce the fathers of the house and our mothers of the house uh, who have come to support this great occasion. And so please help me welcome first Pastor Ken Richards of New Song Church right here in Woodshurst. Pastor Ken here in the house. Oh, give a mighty hand to the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, Pastor, and thank you for coming. We also have all the way from Rhode Island, our own pastor, the district pastor of Rhode Island, Reverend Ohiniche Balfour. Give a mighty hand to Jesus. Amen. And all the way from Seattle, Washington. Seattle, Washington. This man was my professor. And uh, he is the minister of the Spanish outreach of COP uh, in Seattle, Washington. Also happens to be the uncle of Jermaine, uh, therefore the brother of our mother, uh, Auntie Deborah. Please help me welcome Dr. Nana Ba. Hallelujah. A minister of our church, COP in Seattle, Washington. And we are also privileged to be in this awesome, beautiful sanctuary. And the bishop of this house, our own pastor, Pastor Prince Nana Kobe, and our mother, Mama Philomena Kobe. Give a mighty hand to Jesus. Pastor, thank you so much for allowing us to use your sanctuary. We also have the father of the whole region. Oh, hallelujah. And the mother of the whole region. Please help me welcome our father, Apostle. Peter and Ponsa and Mama Grace and Ponsa. Hallelujah. Papa, thank you and God bless you for being here. Amen. My name is Carl Bedou, pastor of Pierre Busey Worcester, and my beautiful wife, Gifted Bedou, is also in the house. Hallelujah. At this moment, we just want to proceed and get these young birds married. Don't you agree? Shout a big amen to that. We humbly want to ask that the bride and the groom be up front. Blessed, hallelujah, blessed, hallelujah, blessed, be the name of the Lord. Hey, blessed. Hallelujah, blessed. Hallelujah, blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Hey, blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Sing blessed, blessed, hallelujah, blessed, hallelujah, blessed, be the name of the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we are gathered in the presence of God and this congregation to witness the union of this man and this woman standing before you in holy matrimony. The scripture says the marriage should be honored by all and we must conclude that it must be or it must not be regarded in light manner, but undertaken and entered into in all solemnity with wisdom and forethought, reverently in the fear of the Lord with the understanding that it was first ordained for the mutual help, fellowship, and comfort that the one ought to have for one another in prosperity and in adversity. 
for the honorable procreation of children and for the training in love and obedience to the Lord. In this holy bond, these two persons are now willing to enter. Therefore, if anyone has any just cause that these two may not be lawfully joined in marriage, please let the person speak now or forever hold your peace. Yes. And the set shouted a big amen. amen. Now, who gave this beautiful bride into marriage? Opi, can you please come up front and do us a big favor? Oh, give a mighty hand to this man here. Papa, I just want you to just take your daughter's hand and place it into this gentleman's hand for me. And I'm sure Jermaine has done all that he needs to do traditional-wise. Awesome. Thank you, Papa. You may please have your seat. God bless you. Amen. All right, Jermaine, you may please face your bride-to-be. And just so that you don't go heckling your father-in-law, we just want to make sure that this is the woman that you've been praying and fasting about. So if you don't mind, can you please unveil the, va uh, the veil and then let us check if she's the right person here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Bami, Eonoa. We good? All right. Awesome. Awesome. I require and charge you both as you answer at the day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts are made known that if any of you knows of any lawful impediment, why you may not be joined in holy matrimony. You may confess so now. Anything to preclude you guys for us getting you married today? We're good. Awesome. Well then, Jermaine, you may repeat this after me. I do solemnly and faithfully. I do solemnly and faithfully. Declare. Declare. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. That I do not know of any lawful impediment. Why I? Why I, Jermaine Owusu, may not be joined in holy matrimony to. May not be joined in holy matrimony to Linda and T. Amen. Amen. All right, Linda, you may want to repeat the same after me. I do solemnly and faithfully declare. I do solemnly and faithfully declare. That I do not know of any impediment. That I do not know of any. Why I, Why I Linda T. may not be joined in holy matrimony to, may not be joined in holy matrimony to Jermaine Owusu. Oh, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Now, Jermaine, will you have this woman, Linda Lintel in T, standing here to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance? In a state of matrimony, will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all other, keep only to her as long as you both shall live. If it is so, say, I will. I definitely will. Amen. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Awesome. Awesome. All right, Linda, will you have this man, Jermaine Kwame Owusu, standing here now to be your wedded husband, to live together the God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, honor him, obey him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep only to him as long as you both shall live? If it is so, say, I will. I will. 
Amen. Now you may hold your hands. Jermaine, I need you to repeat this after me. And even as you look intimately into your bride to be's face, right? Awesome. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. That I, that I Jermaine Ousu, do take you. To be, <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And therefore, and therefore, I give you this token of my love. I give you this token of my love. And shall we have the ring, please? Father, we sanctify and we bless these rings in the name of God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right, Jermaine, as you slot the ring on your bride's middle finger there, I need you to repeat this after me as you. You good? Awesome. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and memorial. As a token and memorial. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Amen. Amen. Put it on. All right. And All right, Linda, it's your turn. And Jermaine, you want to give Linda your hand. And Linda, repeat this after me. No, not yet. You're good. You're good. <laughs> I call upon all persons present here. To witness that I, to witness that I, Linda Linton, and I could see a Bafua in tea. Do take you, do take you, Jermaine Kwame Dixon Ozu, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And now therefore. And now therefore. I give you this token I of give my you love. This token of my love. Awesome. So you want to place it right there. And then repeat this after me as you slide it on. It's okay. You're good. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token and memorial. As a token and memorial. That I have taken you. That I have taken you. To be my lawful wedded husband. My lawful wedded husband. And shall we all shout a big amen? amen. Oh, hallelujah. Awesome. So now, for as much as... Keep the hands holding, people. For as much as Jermaine Kwame Owusu and Linda Lintel in T have consented together in holy wedlock and have confessed the same before God and this gathering and have given and pledged their love to one another and have declared the same by the giving and receiving of ranks and by the joining of their hands, I, by the powers vested in me in the state of Massachusetts, and our glorious church COP USA Inc. And also as a marriage officer, declare them husbands and wife. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Keep the hands up. Therefore, keep it tight, bro. Therefore, 
what the Lord has joined together, let no man separate. And shall we shout it a big amen? amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Scripture says in Ephesians 5, 22 to 28, the wives submit to your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also should wives submit to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. For he who loves his wife loves himself. Amen. So at this moment, we would humbly call on our father, Apostle Peter Amponsa, and we want to bring the chairs here. Are they ready? Because of the COVID protocols, uh, they would be seated and not kneeling. We just want to thank, thank you, mm -hmm. Lord. Lord, we just, we just want, to want to thank, thank Please. You are the Lord, yes. and you are the God of grace. Grace found Jermaine and Linda, and today, grace mm. has brought their destinies together. May your name be praised. You are the God of peace. May your peace sustain them. In the name of Jesus, you are the God of patience. May your patience sustain them. You are the God of love. May your love bind them together. You are the God. 
that calls your people mm. and infuses them with mm. power so that yes lord out of that power yes. they will overcome yes temptation mm. in this world may you almighty god have them to overcome temptation yes. and may they grow to respect mm. mutually each other Jesus. in the name of jesus mm. but all the elements mm. that go into making a happy marriage mm. would you bless them with those elements Hallelujah. so that your name shall be glorified through this couple yes. that all in this area will see that yes indeed Jermaine and Linda are children mm. of the most high God Jesus. the Lord bless you and prosper you may the fruit of the womb mm. be yours Linda and may the Lord God Almighty shine over you this day forth and forevermore in Jesus' mighty name Amen. Amen. Now, amen. As you are the first one, I provoke the anointing, Jesus. the blessing, which is upon Isaac. May mm. it be upon you. Jesus. And as we lead, I pray that may you be an example, mm. not only you, but your siblings, so that as God has paved the way for you, especially as many are looking unto you in mm. the church may this marriage be an example a blessing so that through you we testify that yet God is faithful mm -hmm. may his presence be with you guide you may he order your steps mm -hmm. so that you and Linda will be a blessing mm -hmm. unto this church your family and even the nation of America. In Jesus' name, we ask it to be done. Yes. Amen. 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 Shall we all shout a big amen? Amen. amen. Can we resume our seat? So, we're going to do the count. Amen. All right. Yeah, we can stand. Oh, right, you may please no, have no, your no, seat, no. please. Don't leave your hand. Yeah, we can resume. Okay. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. All right. At this moment, we are just going to get them to sign their marriage certificate, make it official, and then we'll come back and introduce them for the first time. But as we leave, uh, you'll be told how to bless these young couple in offering. Everything we gather here today goes to support them. And I know that you came here to also bless these wonderful couples. So we're going to go sign the marriage certificate, and we'll come back. But the praise team will lead us in this time. Presiding Elder, can you please take over? And I'm going to need mom and dad for both the bride and the groom to follow me, please. Amen. Amen. As our pastor rightly said, we want to take a, a moment of offertory whatever the Lord has laid on your heart. If you brought your gifts for the couple, we do have a table set behind there. Um, if you're gonna stay a little bit for the reception that is to happen right after as well, you can also give your gifts. But this is just to offer to the Lord on behalf of the couple. And this is also gonna be a seed that we're sowing into their marriage. Hold on to your special gifts that you have for them. We'll write your name in the booklet so they can call you and say thank you and God bless you. But we want to take this offertory. So at this time, we want to call our Elder Samuel Yassi and the praise team to lead us in time of praise and offering. Hallelujah. God, you so good. God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my Lord.
My life around Take over, turns my life around
You can shout a big amen. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. All right. So now we just want to introduce the hottest, cutest, coolest couple in town. Please, let's welcome Mr. and Mrs. Owusu. Hallelujah. Oh, you can keep clapping, you can keep clapping. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, let's give a mighty hand to the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Now, we're going to be listening to the word of the Lord, but we want to quickly present to them their marriage certificate. They will have a seat. We will listen to the word of the Lord, and then they will come back and do all their thanksgivings and appreciations and so on and so forth. So at this time, we humbly call on uh, my wife, Mrs. Gifty Badu, to do us the honor of presenting the marriage certificate. To our gorgeous bride, it looks so glorious. On behalf of the Church of Pentecost USA, Inc., PIWC, I'd like to present this marriage certificate to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We wish you a blessed and a glorious marriage. Go and be the wife God has intended you to be and make us all proud of you. Congratulations, and I love you both. Amen. Amen. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Owusu, you can please have your seat for now. Now, you might want to find a comfortable place to sit, even as we get ourselves ready to listen to the word of the Lord. I know that during weddings, uh, we pretend or we think that the exhortation is only for the bride and the groom, but guess what? We are all here for continuous education. And so you might get a nugget or two that you may take home to bless your marriage. So please help me welcome the bishop of this house, Pastor Prince Nana Kobe. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord so much for this afternoon, and especially uh, to be part of uh, Jermaine and Linda's wedding. Today is a glorious day. Oh, shout a believing amen. But before we hear the word of God, we just want to let you know one of our fathers, one of our apostles is in the house. Amen. And he's a, a product of Worcester. Oh, you, did, you didn't get that. I said he's a product of Worcester. Oh, can you shout a believe in amen? Uh -huh. He is a pencil and youth director of the Church of Pentecost USA, Inc., Amen. And he's a resident pastor in uh, Rehoboth Church in New Jersey. Church, help me welcome our apostle, 
Dr. Michael Potofay. Apostle, God bless you and thank you so much for coming to grace this occasion. Amen. We ask the Lord to bless us and to help us know his will and his mind concerning marriage this afternoon. We ask God for grace and understanding. Amen. Quickly, I want to read a couple of our scriptures. And I want to share with you, not only Jermaine and Linda, but all of us couple married, what I've started, dwelling together in unity. Dwelling together in unity. And so I'll read Genesis 2, verse 18. Genesis chapter 2, verse 18, New King James, and I read. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper comparable to him. Amen. It is not good. Then our next scripture is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. You know these scriptures. It says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. But our theme text is from Psalm 133. Psalms 133, and I read. It said, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That is where I picked my team. It is like, verse 2, the precious oil upon the head. And it said, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garment. Verse 3. It is like a dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded his blessings. Amen. Just want to share with you the mind of God concerning marriage on the topic dwelling together in marriage. You see, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18 that we read, the first scripture, the Bible said, and the Lord God said, it is not good. Now, I mean, you can put so many things into it as we've heard in marriages, um, ceremony like this, but it was a respond. It was observation God have done. After God stepped out to see a creation called mine, man, and seeing that man was alone, God said, it is not good. Now, if you go back to Genesis chapter 1, you will see that from verse 10, verse number 12, verse 21, 25, and 31, there's a single statement God says all the time, and the Bible says God saw it was good. Now, God saw it was good. It was a statement of observation of God upon what he has done. And so he comes as a quality control of what he has created, and he intimate and say, it is good. So when he came to man, and after creating man and man was alone, God said, it is not good, referring to because all the things God had created, God had created them in prayer so that they could produce after his kind. But when he came to man, God didn't see that. So that statement was referring to those statements he has already made. And just like any manufacturer, most of you don't work in companies that manufacture things. There is a quality control department. And they will check, they will scan all products that have been made and they will check good. They will check, good, this no good, defect. So when it came to man, God saw there was a kind of defect. And for God to correct that, he said, God introduced another species called woman. And the only way God could make uh, that man good was to bring woman into the picture and so that that equation could be balanced. Are you with me? 
Yes. That is why when you come to Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22, that is why God, the Bible will say, He who finds, He who finds a wife has found what? A good thing. In other words, the moment a man finds a wife, you've come into the domain or under the domain that God could say it is what? Good. And not only that, God says, the moment you come or the moment I assess you and to know that you are good, it said, man obtained. In other words, that word obtained is to issue. It's just, just like God credited into the account of that man and that woman something from heaven called favor so that you could prosecute the destiny of the two of you. Say amen to that. But how would that marriage, that union be good? So according to God, son, that any time you, any man and woman, and here we still emphasize, as you know, as a church, it's not akoshia and masam, no. Or kwajo and mensa, no. It is men and a woman. Shout a believing amen. And so the moment a man and a woman comes into that union, from that time, when God comes into the scene or God visits that home, one thing God expects to see is good. Amen. That is the standard. It's good. So anytime God comes to a home and God will not find that word good, it means something is wrong. And that is why, or that is the reason why marriages have been attacked by devil. Because devil wants to make Christian marriages to be said that it is not good. But that is not intent of God. I pray for you to, this afternoon that anybody under my voice that has married, God will help you so that when God visit your home, God could say your home or that marriage is what? Thank you, you are with me. And so we come to Proverbs, sorry, Psalm 133. And Psalm 133, the psalmist helps us to understand how this system to maintain the goodness in marriage and grow it, how it is done. And so the psalmist began and say, by saying, behold, it means it is visible. It means you can, it can be seen. He said, behold, how good and pleasant it is for the brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. And so here the emphasis is dwelling together in unity. Jermaine and Linda, as you come and join us and the desire to experience the blessings in marriage, what God wants me to tell you and everyone married, and those that will be married later is this, that you should be able to dwell with your wife, Linda, in what? Unity. Say amen to that. In fact, it is sad that when you go to many homes, they are dwelling there, but they are not in unity. They are dwelling there. Many homes, when you visit, before you visit, the man will say, ah, because you are so far back, who name? Now, man who say, and they are come, who be who has my daughter for her. And it's so far back, no. Sometimes, cry be in the night, we are punching, no. Hey, no, you, 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 you. Suffer about who? You want me? Then pastor will come and visit them. Is everything okay? Oh, bones are burning in the kitchen. Oh, BBA is good. The moment pastor will leave, bones are burning. Oh, guys, my jaya na. Then, oh, guys, my jam. Then the fight is re being renewed. I pray. I pray that your home will be good. That your marriage will be good. Shout a believing amen. amen. So Jermaine, I mean, dwell together in unity with Linda in everything. One of the areas marriages today struggle to be in unity is money. Uh, 
Asamna so for abosi. Oh Jesus Christ. When it comes to money, ah, and if you make a test or we survey many marriages, you will see that they are in the house today. They dwell, but not in money. When it comes to money, no. You're on your own. I'm on my own. How can you fulfill destiny? When you dwell together, you sleep together, but when it comes to money, you don't want to be together. Somebody say mercy. Mm, God have mercy. I don't want to go there. <laughs> Let me continue. <laughs> so, when two people come together for this marriage to work, it's not necessarily because they come from the same church. It is good to marry from the one church. But listen, it's not because you are from the same church. That is why the marriage is going to, when God comes, God will see it is good. It's not because you are from the same tribe. No. It's not because of your educational level is the same. No. As much as those things are good, the only thing that will help you is your ability to dwell together with all the shortcomings and the weaknesses of each other in what? In unity. Shout, I hear you, Pastor. Jermaine, Linda, this club is good, oh. Oh, I can tell you, it's good. You go ask of mommy, it's good. Oh, it's good, it's good, it's good. That is the standard, good. But verse 2 tells us a mystical arrangement from Zion, how this unity could be achieved in the context of marriage. So let's go to verse 2. Verse 2 says, it tastes like a precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garment. Now, if you want to appreciate verse 2, all of us, we have cars. When you live here, when you open the hood, Americans call it the hood, right? Uh, Europeans call it most like England, British people, Scotland, New, uh, New Zealand or so, they call it bonnet. And we from Africa, most of us, we know bonnet. If you open the bonnet of your car and you see the engine of your car, you see that the engine of your car are made of different aspects of materials. You see iron there. You see rubber. Sometimes you see steel. There are so many different components. But ask yourself, how come this whole lot of pieces of material work together in harmony so that it can move you from one level to another? The manufacturer introduced what they called oil. And the, all, that oil is a lubrication system for that engine to coexist and work in harmony so that they could fulfill purpose. Amen. Oh, amen. And so here, the psalmist is saying, for you to dwell together in unity, there should be oil in the family. Shout, I hear you. There should be oil. Oil. There should be oil. That is why you, in your car, you see so many oils in your car. You have engine oil, right? You have uh, transmission oil. You have brake oil. You have so different types of oil. You think manufacturers, the manufacturer put it there for nothing, for a reason. If not, iron, one day you see that the iron will go after the rubber. Because when you put iron and rubber together and the engine is heated, what is going to happen? The iron is going to melt the rubber cannot but the only way they could coexist peacefully in harmony they'll be in sync to produce a good effect is oil amen and god tells us how this oil flows those of you that have done if you've done you've been a, a math student you see you talk about gradient and sometimes we work about the gradient. What well, is the potential difference? That determines the flow of the thing. And sometimes you have positive gradient. Oh, you don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> and we have negative gradient. Sometimes 
<laughs> Instead of positive gradient, the, the curve is going somewhere. I pray that Jermaine and Linda, when we visit your home, we will see positive gradients. Shout amen. You see, when you go to your home and you see negative gradient, it means there is a leakage of some oil. Or oh, some oil <laughs> is not flowing well. But the structure for which this oil should flow well is in the same text. It said it will start from the head of Aaron to the beard and to the skirt of Aaron. In the interest of time, I will not go there. But briefly, I want to tell you that, you see, the oil starts from the head of Aaron. Now, if you read the Bible carefully, you will see that that oil actually does not come from Aaron. It comes from another source. And just like in the body of Christ, our head is Christ. So the source of that oil is Christ. And that source will flow to the head of Aaron. That is the headship. And it comes to the beard. Beard stands for maturity, which is leadership. And it will come to the skirt, which is membership or the body. So for that oil to move, for that gradient to be positive, so that the oil will be consistent to lubricate all areas, so that there will be less or no murmuring, no fighting, no quarreling, no cheating, no confusion in that marriage. Those things should be in alignment with the head called Christ. Shout amen. You see, most men, I'm, come, I'm running up. Most men, what most men will say, I'm the head. Me want to, he wants to be the head, but he doesn't want to be under any head. Oh, you didn't get what I said. You see, you cannot be, <laughs> they, they want to be the head. But listen, you cannot, even in the, our church setting, for example, I'm the district head here. For me to operate as a district head, I have to be under another head. Oh, you're not with me. Are you with me? Yes. So for me to, to maintain my position and have authority as a district pastor, I should be able to submit to another authority higher than me. Amen. So for you to be, Jermaine, a good head, you have to be under the chief head called what? Christ. Mommy Linda, you know, Americans, ladies, sometimes it's very difficult for you to submit. It's true. It's true. When it comes to submission, sometimes we think that, oh, it's like kind of related to slavery. No, I want me to be a slave. No. Listen. If there's any displacement, if there's any angular displacement, if any disalignment in that structure I enumerated, listen. The oil will not flow well. And there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a problem. You may dance, you may sing, you may do anything. But listen, if the moment you are in a disalignment, nothing will work in your life. That is it. So, Mama Linda, as much as, listen, I hope that Jermaine will not treat you as a soft standard, but of course you are not a soft standard. Jermaine is a good guy, and I know he's a gentleman. And so he will treat you good. But, be humble enough to submit and be there. Take your place as a wife. Don't be a man in that house. There are so many women, they run men. They want to take the place of the headship. The moment you do that, you brought this, this alignment, this placement. And the moment you do that, even though the oil might be flowing from Christ, but it will not flow in that marriage. And so when God comes, or any family member visit, or a pastor visit that home, the only thing God wants to see is that your home is what? Good. 
And for that good and that pleasantness, and when you come to verse 3, all the benefits that the deal will come, where God will command his blessing, your children will be blessed, your finances will be blessed, you'll be a man of integrity, a powerful woman of God. For all these things to happen, both of you should be under the big headship of Christ. That you allow God to rule your hearts. You allow God to rule you. Sometimes in a marriage, maybe you want to do something bad to that woman. But if you are under authority, that Christ will check you and say, no, you can't do that. Then you retreat. I pray. I pray. I pray that all of you that is hearing me, listen, God has a good intent for you in your marriage that you enjoy the blessings of marriage. You will be powerful men and women. You will fulfill destiny. But God wants your marriage to be called good so that your marriage will become the first offering unto God. Amen. Even as I wrap up, Jamie, tomorrow you go to church and Linda, you will thank God. But don't forget this. The best praise, the best thanksgiving, God wants from your marriage. It's not just a lip service. But any time you and Linda walk on the streets, of Wusa anywhere. God wants to point to your marriage and say, look at their marriage. That is example of what I created called good. And the best gift, the best blessing, the best praise you can give God is that your life, your marriage will become good. When you leave this good from your marriage, and I want to encourage all of us that have married many years, that even is still struggling. The problem is not your wife, don't divorce. The problem is not necessarily the man, the problem is disalignment. The oil is flowing, but you are displaced. And because you are displaced, God cannot bless that marriage to become good. I pray for you. And I ask the grace of God to be so abundant upon you that from today, your marriage, my marriage, will be called good. God bless you. Oh, you can do it better for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If you didn't learn anything at all today, you know angular displacement. Yeah, that is like some admath. Those of you who were raised in Ghana, we call it admath. Uh, here they call it calculus, right? Admath. Oh, hallelujah. All right. Now we want to give the couple the chance and opportunity to render your thanksgiving unto God and the family members here in Gavit. So please, let's welcome Mr. and Mrs. Ousu. Hey, I'm a fed or do near why I'm a me a bromantia. Say so, a team a pamini. Now I am a sailor. Sesame 
We stand here to give God all the praise. Amen. <laughs> I am I'm so blessed. Uh, this this journey of our marriage relationship it has not been easy at all. I can never stand in front of the church to lie to anybody. Uh, but through it all, God has brought us a mighty long way. And uh, Linda and I stand before you all, the congregation, our family, our friends, our loved ones. And we say we thank you, God, for all that you've done for us. This has been made possible because of the handiwork of God. And we say glory to your holy name, Lord. We thank you. Also, we want to, we want to thank all the... I got it. I'm in order. I want, to, I want to say a big thank you to all the apostles. Um, uh, our father, uh, Apostle Peter Amponsa, and Mama Amponsa. God richly bless you. I remember the day we came and, and, and informed him about it. He just you know, laid hands on us and prayed for us genuinely. You can tell, you could tell the, the genuineness of that prayer. And we're so grateful that we have fathers like this. Uh, we want to thank um, our, our, our sitting pastor, district pastor of Worcester Central, Pastor Nanakobi. Thank you so much. You received us also very well. And we thank you for the mighty word of God that came today through you. We thank you also for, um, we thank God also for Apostle Mike Portofi traveling all the way from Jersey to be a part of our, our, our celebration. Thank you so much, our precious apostle. Uh, and also, last but not the least, we want to say thank you to our own, our very own PIWC pastor, Reverend Dr. Carl Bedu, and Mama Gifty Bedu. Uh, we want to say thank you for everything, pastor. Uh, I remember when I, when I went outside, Pastor texted me and he was like, Hey, Jermaine, I just want you to know that uh, whenever you feel like coming back, do not hesitate. Come back because I want you to know that this is home. You're always welcome. I will never forget that, Pastor, Pastor Carl. I will never forget that. When I came back, he has received me. Mama Gifty, they've received me so well. I want to say a big thank you to 
to, to you, Pastor, for all that you've done for us through the counseling, the advice, everything. May God richly bless you and my gift you so much. Uh, Linda and I are so much appreciative of everything you've done for us and everything you've poured into our lives. We're so thankful. Uh, my uncle, uh, Dr. Nanaba, thank you so much for traveling from all the way from Seattle. God richly bless you. Uh, Pastor Ken Richards, all the pastors, all the ministers here, God richly bless you. I want to say a, thank you, a big thank you to all the leadership of Church of Pentecost, the elders, deacons, deaconesses, uh, PIWC, we are blessed with uh, uh, good leadership. God bless you all. all I'm, I'm so blessed to, to be able to call you guys my moms and my dads, my uncles. You've been a, such a blessing to all of us. And we say God richly bless you all. Uh, we also want to say big thank you to my father-in-law. Where is, where is my father-in-law? <laughs> God richly bless you, daddy. God bless you so much. You made it so, so easy for me. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the communicative type of person. So when I had to go see him, man. <laughs> but when I got there, he received me like, 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 like a close friend. He talked with me. He gave me advice. Thank you. God richly bless you. I know Linda's mom could not make it. She, she is in Ghana right now. But we know that she's watching it. Mama, gift it. I mean, and Linda's older sister. Um, Dakuma, I know you guys are watching. God richly bless you all for, for raising such a beautiful girl. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and I, I'm blessed, you know, to have Linda as my wife. Yeah. We also want to say a big thank you to Mama Gina and uh, Uncle Ted. Right here. Mama Gina. I mean, sure, we be... She gave me a hard time, but now we give God all the glory. <laughs> We want to thank all the family, Linda's family, Bernice, uh, all Linda's friends, uh, Queen Lee, all of you guys. God richly bless you all. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to th thank my own family. Uh, my dad is here, Mr. Edwin Ousu. Where is he? Right here. Uh, everybody knows my mom, but this is my dad, Mr. Edwin Ousu. Please give him a hand clap, please. And he's, he's the head of our household. I want everybody to acknowledge that. Uh, and then my mom, also, everybody knows her already. Mama Davy. I mean, she'll be very, thank you so much. I, I, I'm blessed to have good parents, though. Very, very good parents. They've been accommodating. Uh, they've been very supportive and helpful since day one. Uh, they never gave up on me. I, I want you to let you guys know that. And uh, I'm, I, I'm very much grateful to God for that. Thank you so much. And I want to thank God for my sweet <laughs> mom right here, too. And Takuma and her lovely husband, Mr. Wampo. God richly bless you guys all. I really appreciate everything. This is the all the family, uh, everybody uh, that came to support us, all the families from Linda and, and my side. God richly bless you all. And I also want to say one thing uh, my grandmother is not here, she couldn't make it. Uh, but and she said, oh, shit, yeah. Let me speak to my grandmother for a little bit. So, oh, shit, yeah. Mr. Nyankupon, inshallah, will be brief. When uh, my parents traveled, when uh, my sister and I were, were little, uh, my grandma took care of all of us. Everybody knows that. Uh, my grandmother, from my, my, my own uh, mom, my aunties, as well as us, there was never any discrimination. The people who came even lived with us. My grandmother treated them like, like family. Sometimes even, even more than us. <laughs> and we got jealous. I mean, she and say, all the hard work. The first time my grandmother came to visit me, oh, oh, uh, uh, high school. I will never forget that. <clears throat> we, had, we had gone to school, I think, 1st January or so, 1999. When we went to uh, uh, high school, and then 6 March is a, a holiday in Ghana, Ghana Independence Day. And uh, because we were freshmen, we didn't know each other. Nobody knew the Air Kosu. I was, I, was, I was right there when uh, somebody, like, so we were talking, and then somebody, you know, happened to know my name, so they mentioned my name. And then, and then a guy was passing, and was like, ah, is that you? That's your name? What's your name? And I mentioned my name. He's like, ah, your mom has been here for like three hours or four hours. 
sitting there because my grandmother can't even, she doesn't even know what my English name is. So if she says Kwame, nobody knows who Kwame is. And she can't say my English name. And she'd been there. I cried that day. I will never forget that day. Um, anytime I think about that, that, that very, very incident, I, 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 it brings tears to my eyes. And I, 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 I don't think some of us have some weird children. And see, since that day, you know, I stopped here, I was like, I'm going to school with you. Uh, because I never had anybody. My parents were all here. My aunts, everybody was here. And it was just me. And to know, I was like, 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 Thank you all, congregation, friends, families, traveling from far and near, coming to support us, my work colleagues, uh, my previous job colleagues, everybody. I also want to thank all the vendors, my sisters, Afraj Experience, uh, Nanajua, Afrakuma, the band, my friends, New Gen, photography, uh, uh, Marty for the uh, uh, food. We want to thank Fantasy Deco. We want to thank all of you guys. Uh, God richly bless you all. I don't want to. I don't want to keep boring you guys with so much words. But thank you for sharing with me, brief for being my every sister Bernice. God bless you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, who said Jermaine can talk? They, they are worried to me, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, give a mighty hand to Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> well done, bro. That was great. God bless you. All right. So we will listen to a few announcements and then we'll be getting ready to be out of here. Please pay particular attention to the announcements uh, so that we can all follow accordingly. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we thank God for how far he's brought us. Amen. And please take notice of this. After the service, there'll be a cocktail downstairs. Um, please, there's no seating. Um, so when you get down, pick um, a cocktail table. Um, you'll be served. There'll be a lot of things going on down there. But please, the seats that are there is just for the couple and the family. So please. Please pick a cocktail table, and stand by it, and um, they will take care of you. Amen. Um, there will be a regional youth service tomorrow in the evening at your usual time on your Zoom platform. Tomorrow there will be church service. PIWC members, we will not be gathering here. We'll be going to Five Blackstone River Road. So please remember, we will have church service. Let's meet at our usual place, 5 Blackstone River Road, not here. Amen. Um, from Monday to Sunday, that is May 31st to June 6th, we'll have our Ignite 2021, our prayer and fasting time. So please prepare your hearts for it. And on the Saturday, which is um, June 5th, um, Presbyters in PIWC, remember we'll have Ignite 2. We'll have, I'm sorry, Equip 2 our um, presbyters retreat and then on june 21st to 27th there will be regional youth revival camp and i'm sure it's been posted on the platform so every youth is aware um, god richly bless you for your attention amen no 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 okay Okay, so after the benediction, uh, we would humbly ask you to be seated. The bride and the groom and the family would uh, leave first. And then once they are out of the building, we can all follow. The ushers are going to help us uh, even as we do that. So if you don't mind, please be on your feet. And we humbly ask our mother, Mama Grace Amponsa, even as she prays. And then Apostle Mike Potiphy will bless us with a benediction.
With the permission of our Father, I'd like to uh, congratulate um, our son, Jermaine, and our daughter, uh, Linda, on behalf of PENSA USA. Can I hear amen, Pensa? Amen. Uh, he has been an astute music director for the ministry in most of our national conferences over the years. So, Jermaine is no small man. He's uh, a very instrumental vessel in the house of God. And so, again, congratulations. 
we wish you all the best just as you have played music and we have all enjoyed may your home be filled with excellent joy peace and music shall we say amen shall we take the benediction may the almighty god the one who instituted marriage the only one who knows the kind of oils that will make marriage work may that god bless this union may he release the oil of love joy peace upon this union not only upon them but upon this entire house as we leave this place we declare that may his goodness and may his mercy go with everyone let every home where there is trouble where there is negativity receive the peace of heaven may the lord rewire his oil of joy into every single life here and may our homes function as god has determined for it to be the lord bless us all even now and forevermore and we will say amen amen please let's take the following housekeeping rules uh, we're going to take the recessional right now but before then um, right when Jermaine and Linda and the party walks out, they're going to come back in. We humbly ask all family members to kindly stay here uh, so you can have take some pictures up front. Uh, we also ask the clergy and church leadership to also stay so we can take some pictures. As we mentioned, please can you project uh, electronic donation on the screen for me? Please be a blessing. Let's sow a seed into the life and the marriage of Linda and Jermaine. Please, can you project it up? The flyer. All right, dollar sign Jermaine Owusu for Cash App the, um, donations, and for the Zell, it's five zero eight four one zero, and what was two one two eight. All right, thank you. All right, dollar sign Jermaine Owusu uh, for Cash App and Zell five zero eight four one zero two one two eight. If you're not staying for the cocktail hour, there's also a table set behind us. Please write your name, give your donation, be a blessing to them. And I know the Lord will bless us all. If you agree to do that, can we shout a big amen? Amen. amen. And please, you may go ahead with the music for the recessional. sheltered me my great confident assurance the only God for me
family of the bride, please. Auntie Georgina, Uncle and T, I saw Uncle Kwame was coming. Please. Uh, Uncle Teddy, please. Family of the bride, we humbly need your presence up front. Groom's family, also be ready. Please, groom's family, be seated and ready as well. We humbly ask for the presence of clergy, all our pastors and apostles and their wives, if they're present, please. Bernice, Auntie Georgie, I'm going to talk about the movie. A bit chat talk, serious. All right, let's go, let's go. Family of the bride, we, um, Uncle Teddy, please. Please, somebody find me Uncle Teddy. Family of the groom, please be seated and ready as well. God bless you, God bless you. We're really short on time, so please. Let's help our organizers do this as quickly as possible so they can go to the next phase. Daddy, God bless you, Uncle T. Let me show. Uncle Teddy Wayne. Daddy, thank you. B. Nothing. Please, can someone find Uncle Teddy? Tonight, go to your grandpa, mommy, why? You don't know me? All right, go ahead and join the picture. Mister, let me show. All right, groom's family is ready. God bless you. Uh, we also need the clergy, our fathers, apostles, and reverence, please, so we can do a quick picture with the bride and the groom. All right, awesome. Thank you. Um, okay. Okay. Uncle Teddy. Can you do it without Yeah. He's coming? Okay, give me two seconds. All right, smile. Mommy and Pacho. All right. All right, 
Again. All right, thank you. Family of the groom, please. Family of the groom. You must. Family of the groom. 